Hi everybody. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Um, great to be here today. It's a very magical day in the spirit world and the astrology world today because it is June 6th, which is the 6-6 six, six portal and a new moon in Gemini. So today is all about those new intentions. Right. I'm not going to get into detail about the portals. If you're interested in learning more about the portals, you can Google those. There's also lots of YouTube videos on those too. But um, just remember that anytime there's a portal, it's, a, it's an opening. It's an opportunity for you to put out those intentions of what you want. So I suggest that today, because Gemini is, is um, sometimes an interesting sign, as we all know, but a beautiful sign. And you know, if you write out those intentions, like kind of, I would go like with a theme, like say you're, you want um, to get a new job. So you're like, okay, um, the theme is again, get a new job. What are the actions for that? How are you going to do that? So you're going to like, I'm going to upgrade my resume. I'm going to look online for new jobs. I'm going to tell people I'm looking for a new job. I'm going to send out my resume. Um, so those are the things that I would do. And I would do that like with whatever it is you're looking for, if you're looking for a relationship or if you're looking for a um, new career, um, you want to take a trip, you know, just write down the actions of how you're going to do it. Because I think um, if you're really specific, um, you just have a better chance. And remember that, you know, the universe wants you to have what you want. Um, you are destined to have it. It may take a while. We don't always get things, you know, days after we ask for them, but, you know, they will come in for you. So, and so I'm really excited. Um, to be here tonight on this magical day. So let's just pull a few cards and let's just see what this new new moon in Gemini has um, in store for all of us as a collective. Let's see. Oh yeah, right on. First card that like flies out is um, the throat chakra card, which is interesting. So you're, there you go. So maybe just not even write out those intentions. Maybe say them out loud too. Um, I really feel by um, by the looks of uh, by the looks of these cards, the first one I do have is the throat chakra card. So like I said, maybe um, not just writing out the intentions, but uh, speaking them too out loud. You do have the solitude card, which is which is the hermit, which is all really about like, you know, thinking and analyzing and what are you going to do? And there's a book here. So um, the, that book kind of is a trigger for uh, me when I see that to actually writing things down, like I just mentioned. So now we have the waiting game. And that's exactly where I think a lot of people have been for a while is like, you know, wh where is everything? I keep asking for it. It's not coming. It is going to come. You do have the power card there, the eight. It's an eight card or strength in the old tarot, all about abundance and love. And then your last card is the sun or the light in this particular deck, which is all about new opportunities. And it's beautiful. It's the most positive card in the deck. So as a collective, we're sharing all the positive energy. So good luck um, tonight and the next few days. Enjoy this new moon. I love them. I do. We don't always sleep the best, but that's okay. So we have Emily from Australia on the phone. Hi, Emily. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you this evening? Um, I actually tuned in yesterday and was hoping to get... Um, are you doing cards? What? I'm, I'm on my phone, so I can't watch you while I'm on the phone to you. Okay, that's fine. You can watch me after the fact. You know what I mean? You can see your reading after after the fact. Yeah, but. yeah. I'll watch the fact, definitely. Yeah. I can describe them to you so you can kind of know what they are as I'm as I'm going through. But um did you, did you have a particular question in mind? I did. I wanted um I guess a message or any guidance around someone I'm involved with in England. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, that's what, yeah, that's a long distance relationship for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, go ahead. Um, that's really it. Just general, just that's whatever. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I can. There's a couple of different ways that I can do this because it's a relationship spread. So why don't we start with um this person and how they how they feel about you. How they feel about the relationship. You want yes, to go that no. way? However you feel. Yep. 
Yeah, sound good? Okay. All righty. Okay, this is this is good. This is interesting. Okay, so the first card that I do pull for um, your person is the Ace of Wands. And so this person is like passionate and creative and loving and all the wonderful things um, that you want them to be, I feel. When they see you, they actually see justice, which is really interesting. It's a very powerful card, the justice card. And the justice card is all about balance. So, so they see you as quite balanced and, you know, probably, you know, like fair in your thinking and, and, you know, just really, which is a, which is a wonderful thing. When they see your, when they look at your relationship as it is now, it is, it's the Knight of Swords. And that tells me that there's a good chance that this person is thinking about like racing towards you. Um, and if they're thinking yeah. about yeah giving up their career and moving to Australia, but they got a funny feeling that that's what they're thinking, okay? Um, they literally said that last night. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so the cards are confirming that that's exactly what he's thinking. So um, what's hidden about him, or, but I don't think it's that hidden, but something about him that um, that you need to know is, is, is the, the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant card is about marriage and contracts and it's also very wise and very spiritual. So it's a very beautiful card. So like two major arcanas already have come out, which are all about change and, and they're also really, really strong. Um, the basis of a relationship, why you got together is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is, he's sitting on this horse and yet another knight. And um, he's bringing a cup like he's, you know, he's like offer it as, as an offering. So I'm feeling that he was the one that, asked you out or started this this uh, relationship um and how he sees the future of your relationship right now is is the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles there's a, a man on here and he's like juggling like back and forth the two pentacles and it's interesting because he's like he's telling you he wants to go and he does want to go um but of course He's a little bit hesitant, and he, I think what he's hesitant about maybe is securing a job when he gets there. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. He's also got a son as well. Okay, yeah, right. So he's just thinking, okay, I can do this, but how am I going to balance this out? You know what I mean? So that I, you know, I, I'm a good provider, and 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 um, you know, and you know, with you, which is what he wants. Um, the takeaway or the lesson to be to be learned in this. From this relationship at this point is um the queen of swords and the queen of swords is in, in again another very um strong powerful card this card this queen has been through a lot and um and she's she's got the strong sword there if she needs to cut something off she will so and when i see the swords i i feel like the swords bring in a lot of clarity so it's really you know i mean if i look at the cards you know they look really good right the relationship's really good as long as you're you're wanting this person to, to make this yeah. move for you. Um, there is the, the page of cups there too that I just wanted to, to bring out to kind of verify like a little bit more about your future. And it does look like, you know, if, this, if he makes the move to there, um, he is going to probably bring in another offer, right? Yeah. Mary, I would say, right? So how are you feeling about it? <laughs> how are you feeling about it? Do you need some cards um, to, ver to verify how you're feeling? Pardon me? Do you need some cards to verify how um, you're feeling? Yeah, yeah, why not? All right, let's just do a few. Let's pull out a few and see how what you're thinking. Um, okay. Make these up good. Um, okay, so this is. All right. So if I bring out you, it's interesting because you, you're the page. You're the page of cups. So were you the person that actually kind of um, asked him out? Was it you? Um, not really. No. I. It was, it was, 
we kind of both initiated it, but it was definitely more okay. driven by him. But okay. there wasn't any right. hesitation. Okay, good because you know you both have the, the the Page of Cups came twice, right? So just that's just interesting because he came out like I thought he was the one, and then you came. So I thought oh, maybe you too. Yeah, right. yeah, I pushed him away a few times, and then. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. So the um, the next card that I have for you know like how you see him, you do see him. You see him as a hard worker. You see him as a man who's like on this card. There, the the wands are all different like heights, and and that's usually about like growth and development, which is really beautiful, right? Like really really nice. Yeah. Um, you see the relationship as the Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card to have in a love reading. Um. Because it is all about security and and love and and just you know the the whole package, right? Um, I get the sense would, from him. Yeah, and this and the the, the basis of like why you've come together is the two of cups, and this card does have a lot of meanings. But one of the meanings is the most important meaning in this reading is is that it is um, a soulmate card, and for your future, I oh. see the three of cups. So I see celebration and, you know, recognition reward. I only have a couple seconds left, Emily, but, you know, it really, really does look good. You know, help him find a job. That's the only thing he's worried about. <laughs> but aside from yeah, that, he, yeah. you know, I think it's going to work out really well for both of you. It's beautiful. I'm glad to, happy to be able to do that for you. It's a beautiful reading. And thank, thank you, you for so calling. Much for your time. Oh, you're hey, very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, then we have to thank everybody tonight and I'll be back next week. So that was fun. Don't forget about writing out those intentions. Happy new moon in Gemini.